What's up, boys and girls in the works? And ooh, haven't used that intro in a long time. In fact, that was the intro I used when I first started. Um, first started YouTube, I used to say say that. So uh, ah, that was that's bad intro. Bad intro is bad. But what's going on? We are looking at the M5K, which is one of the weapons that got a substantial facelift in the last patch and a lot of you guys have been asking me you've been begging you've been pleading Jake look at the M5K it's so good now and I was like fine 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 um, I do keep a list of video ideas and this was pretty low on my priority just because so many other YouTube guys had already touched on it I figured you know what's the point of me doing it um, you know at least a, a typical weapon review so that's not what this is going to be but rather my thoughts on it and I think the hype on this thing is a little overrated because it is a very limited weapon Yes, it did get a 5 damage increase, so it is now a 25 damage weapon. It basically has the exact same damage model as like the PP2000 used to have. Um, so it's pretty good. I mean, being a 900 round per you know fire rate weapon, it's going to really destroy up close because it does do 25 damage. I mean, combo a PDW type hip fire with a weapon that shoots that fast, and you're going to get some really good results considering that it's very similar to the, M5, or the MP7 in the hip fire department. So... It will beat the MP7 in certain scenarios. Um, I think the one thing that I don't like about the M5K is the fact that the aim down sight accuracy on it is very, very bad. Um, that's one of the things that really drives me nuts. And look at this guy. Planning C4 on the objective, going to a corner to camp. And I think that's one of the things that really ruined close quarters for me were players like this. Because, um, I mean, come on, that's just so cheap. It's it's just not fun at all. It defeats the whole dynamic of close quarters. And that guy was, like, complaining the whole game, like, hey, guys, play the objective. And then there, there he is sitting in the corner waiting for people to uh, come to his flag so he can blow them up. But I figured that guy deserved a little bit of a, a call out there because he was kind of a uh, an uber jerk. He was not a very good player. But anyways, moving back to our topic at large, which is the M5K, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think the hype on this thing is a little overdone just because it is very limiting. It has a very small magazine, but I will say it deserves to have the small magazine. In order to keep this weapon balanced, you can't have a 900 round per minute, um, 25 damage weapon with 40 rounds. It just wouldn't be balanced at all, so you've got to keep it at 30. I think that's the, the sweet spot for this weapon. It's got to stay the way it is. I think far as being a close quarters weapon though, between, you know, 10 to 15 meters, this thing is awesome. Outside of that, not so much. Now I have heard some of you guys say out there, you know, I've put some, put some ACOGs on this and snipe people with the burst fire mode, which is awesome, but I mean, it can do that. I've sniped people with it. You'll see some of the later clips in this video of me sniping some people with this thing. So it can be done. Um, it definitely is a lot better than its former self, but I think a lot of other weapons would do that job better. Um, but I guess I guess it can be versatile, but I think it's just for the core element of Battlefield 3, I think the M5K is a very limiting weapon. That's why I've never not really had a good time using it. So. Um, it's there. It's definitely better than it used to be. It definitely gets the job done in close quarters. Outside of that, there's better choices. So uh, I think the PP2000 is a little bit more versatile in that department. Um, but, you know, I've rambled on here for the past, uh, what is that, three and a half minutes. And I haven't even got to what I wanted to talk about throughout this video. And that is Battlefield 3 moving forward. Battlefield 3 on YouTube. Battlefield 3 in general. Um, because I got a couple videos sent to me um, by, I'll buy a lot of you guys because I, I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos make videos yourself and you guys had done a topic and it was actually two individuals who I think knew each other. I don't remember your name so sorry if I forgot saying that they thought you know once Warfighter came out Battlefield 3 was done on YouTube because not only does it seem like a lot of the bigger guys on on the Battlefield community side of things for YouTube are moving away from it it seems like a lot of you guys are just sour on it a lot of you guys are like okay you know armor kill was underwhelming Granted, I haven't even played it yet, but a lot of you PS3 guys are like, okay, Armor Kill is kind of a disappointment. I'm like, man, two disappointing DLCs in a row might spell doom for Battlefield 3. Might be having to wait for Battlefield 4 before we can actually sit down and have a good uh, Battlefield experience. But me personally, I still enjoy playing this game. I always, like I said, I will always post games that I enjoy. I won't really post games I don't enjoy. I mean, that's just my, my strategy in YouTube, you know. 
why post something you're not enjoying? You know, it's going to reflect quite heavily in your video content if you're posting a game you don't like. I think a good example is how, you know, I just stopped posting Modern Warfare 3 because let's face it, it's, it sucked. It was a bad game, wasn't going to post it. Same with DayZ. I wouldn't say DayZ is a bad game, but it was a game that I didn't really enjoy. Um, it's not really a good YouTube game because of the, the pacing of the game, the fact that, you know, there's so many hackers just kind of ruined it for me, so I stopped posting that, didn't really enjoy it, but... Um, expect to see more Planet Side though, because that is a game that I am just having a blast with. I actually got some pretty awesome uh, sniping footage earlier today that I'm really proud of that I'll put up uh, here in the in the near future. We'll put something together for that. But um, a lot of people just seem to think that Battlefield's going the way of the dodo. That you know, Dice just kind of didn't hit home with this last patch. They really didn't do a very good job. Uh, fixing some of the issues that a lot of people had with the game. I saw a Reddit thread that contained probably like 15 to 20 issues that have been out since day one and DICE just hasn't fixed them yet. So um, I, I'm kind of curious, you know, I as a channel, I plan on posting Battlefield 3 as long as I'm playing it. If I'm enjoying it, if you guys enjoy watching it, Battlefield 3 will always be on my channel. But I'm definitely uh, <laughs> going to be expanding my horizons here very, very soon. Uh, with Borderlands coming out, I've got some stuff planned for Borderlands. Medal of Honor, obviously, that'll be all over that because um, I started this channel actually on, on Medal of Honor 2010, so it would only be right to keep that dream alive <laughs> with the next installment. Um, but other than that, you know, Black Ops is coming out, and I don't know if that'll be a good game or not. That's uh, t still t to be decided, but um, a lot of stuff that is going to kind of push Battlefield back. I know there's a lot of Battlefield still left in DLC and I still plan on playing all those, but we've got to think about the future here. So let me know what you guys think. How much life do you think Battlefield 3 still has left in it? Because I'm really curious, you know, since you guys are the, the audience, how much, uh, how much life do you think Battlefield 3 has left on YouTube or just as a game that a lot of people play in general? Because I've already noticed that a large amount of dips in the PC community and people playing it. So. Um, your opinions are always valued here on my channel. So hope you guys enjoyed this. So M5K, good in close quarters, eh, struggles outside of that. But I will see you guys next time. Peace.